lot to say about last year. It was it was kind of a series of unfortunate events. I myself, I wasn't happy to commit a, a year of my life to something you know, that you know I didn't feel I was going to get the rewards out of. There was no winner out of it, you know. Um, me personally, I just couldn't buy into the, the setup that was there. The stuff was far from 100%, and I, I just felt that I wasn't going to waste a year. Watching the county games during the summer, it was tough going. Things should have been sorted out long before they ever went to the field, you know, so it's hard to blame those guys, but it's never going to work out. Well, I suppose Donald came in in October, late October. He came in with the intention, basically, of you know, starting fundamentals, getting our hurling right. The whole system that we have, it's very productive, very constructive, and uh, very progressive. So, from a hurler's point of view, it's it's ideal insofar as we, you know, we're always continuing trying to better ourselves. When you bring in someone as professional as Don and Jerry Wallace, I mean, they've just taken it to another level. I mean, we never had training like this. I never experienced any and it into county set up like this anyway. He expects things out of players that, that, is, that is only right and he, I suppose he shows the leadership and that's all players ask for is a bit of guidance, a bit of leadership and then after that it's up to the players. It's absolutely no disrespect to Division 2. It, it, it's, it's just the fact of life. The best teams are in Division 1 and that's where you want to be. I think it's very important to, to bounce back straight away and I suppose to give the supporters something to, to look forward to next year. Yeah, we're in the league final, you know, but our success now will be measured Saturday evening, um, win or lose against Clare.